Oh, it's me, OG Duffy, back with a little follow-up video on the A500. Now, for those that aren't aware of what this is, it's the new sort of mini console that they released all to do with the Amiga A500. And there it is there. So if you've not seen that video, go check it out. I'll review it and do an unboxing and all that sort of stuff. But uh, what this is, I've got a guy called Anthony Forbes has asked me a question about it. He watched a video I did about installing the extra games, the extra ROMs, which is there. Go look them out after the, or check them out after this video if you haven't already done so, of course. But uh, Anthony has asked the question, can you put multi-disc games on this little mini console and will they work? Well, Anthony, I thought the best way of doing this really was to show you. So I, so I, I messaged him back and I said, I'll happily show you. Uh, and he put in the comments, he'd like to see Desert Strike. I think if Desert Strike works on it and I can prove multi-disc games work, he'll be well pleased and he'll probably invest in one. So who am I not to do a request for you guys, all right? So anyway, let's get to it. I'm going to show you how I download the ROMs. Again, always from um, Amiga Lemon or Lemon Amiga. I can't remember what it is, but I'll show you all in a minute anyway. And uh, I'll put it up on the, uh, I'll install it on the stick. I'll put the stick in the system and then I'll show you if it works. And all that and I'll do a bit of gameplay all right if it works but it should I don't see why it shouldn't okay so anyway Anthony this one's for you let's get to it let's get Desert Strike going on the A500 Mini here we go this little demonstration here we're going to go onto the website which is um, um, Amiga Lemon or Lemon Amiga there it is, it's found it already because I've previously visited it. So the actual website is there, look, www.lemonamiga.com. Now those that have seen the previous video know how this works. It's uh, how to download ROMs, etc. to add to the A500. And they're all on here, there's loads on here. So Anthony Forbes asked about Desert Strike on the um, Amiga 500. Would it work? So there it is there. I've just done a quick search. Desert Strike Return to the Gulf. So what's great about this site, it gives you all the information, etc. So as you can see here, the original version come with three discs, okay? Uh, and Anthony's question was, can you load multiple disc games? All right. So what I generally do with this, um, okay, I'm going to go on here, um, download site, WH Download that one there and here it is so as you can see there's the ROM there now if you look at the ROM size okay 2.39 megabytes it's my understanding and someone correct me if I'm wrong but on multi-disc games like this they generally put the, all the files together so you only have to download the one ROM so it's not multiple files uh, I do know you can download the different disk images, the different separate uh, image files, but uh, I don't think it's really required. All right. We're not using these ROMs anyway. Uh, so there you go. So there's the ROM. I'm going to download that somewhere. So I'm going to put that on my desktop, which is rather messy at the moment. As you can see, there's the download going over there in the bottom corner. And it's done already. They're only small files, these, these as you can see, 2.39 megabytes. So uh, we're going to go and drop that onto the stick, and we'll see if it works as it should. We are now in the A500 menu, um, as you can see here. So we're gonna go over to the dongle stick, which is there, hit the red button. Uh, it's already in the A500 folder where I dropped the ROM. Now the ROM we're looking at is the Desert Strike ROM. And the question Anthony wants to know is, do the um, multi-disc games load through this? Now my understanding is that on some ROMs, and the ROMs we're using through Lemon Amiga, they compile all the disk images together, so you don't have to do disk swaps, etc. So it should play it all together. Anyway, we'll find out now. Um, like I say, I'm not an expert on this, but I do know it, and it does work. So, hey. Anyway, we're trying Desert Strike at his request, at his request. And this is it, Desert Strike, Return to the Gulf. Oh, great chopper sound there. I'm I do love the soundtrack on this. I think it's a very good um, rendition. Now, confession time. I never actually played this on the Amiga before, but I have played it on uh, on the Mega Drive. I owned it on the Mega Drive. Uh, it's a great little game. So uh, everything's working well as it should. Sounds good. Um, I have dropped the sound uh, for this video, 
um, from the game because obviously um, it is quite loud, it'll be overpowering. So I've, I've mixed the levels, so to speak. Um, so there we go. Right, so anyway, let's get into the game. Let's, let's see if it's working as it should. Um, but I hope this answers your question, Anthony. Um, so in a nutshell, what am I, how am I finding the um, the A500 Mini? To be honest, I'm, I'm really, really, really enjoying it. And to be honest, I've probably not given it enough time I need to. Do you know what I mean? Um, I, I should really give it a lot, lot, lot more time. But thoroughly enjoying it. As you can see here, the sound looks great. Everything's working here. Hit the button there. Have a skip through. Loading. Obviously, nice quick load, I would imagine, because it's obviously it's taking it off straight off the ROM. And there we go. There it is. The classic Desert Strike. Oh, mate, the memories. Look at that. Look at this. The sound of that chopper, mate, takes you right back. I can't remember what mission I was doing or anything, but I, I haven't played this for, for many, many years. Right, so the controls on this, I'm using the, the gamepad that comes. So if I hit the shoulder button, left shoulder button, it changes your uh, your weaponry there. So you've got the cannon, which is armed. And I'll, I'm using the uh, X button, the green button. And then that sort of propels you and readies fire. Oh, he wants saving. But the bloke over there ain't so nice. Let's get him. We've got to get rid of him. Yep, yeah, the ladder drops. I remember this now. It's all coming back to me. I don't want to go back, though. No. That's it. I'm just using that little accelerate button. And there we go. So, Anthony, my friend, I hope this answers a question for you. Um, so, Desert Strike does work uh, very nicely. The sound is pucker. It's, it's just such a great game, isn't it? Hydras. Arm the Hydras. Mate. There we go. This is, of course, nothing to do with the Iraq War, this, this video game. It was just completely, you know, just happened to... Coincidental, I believe. Yeah, right. But anyway, it was a mega popular game for the time, and it still is, I'm, I'm guessing. People are still... Had, had several um, follow-ups to it. Jungle Strike being one, and I think the other was Urban Strike. Could be wrong. But for me, this is the one, because this was the classic. This was the one that kicked it all off. So, a brilliant little game. One thoroughly enjoyable. And, Anthony, I hope that answers your question. So, multi-disc games do work, my friend. Um, the A600 Mini is brilliant. You can even smash into buildings, but don't dent your copter. Um, all in all, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Loving this system. Um... Can't wait to see what they come up with next, you know what I mean? Because they're gonna they're gonna come up with something else. Um there we go. Get your hook down. Nearly there. Extra fuel, I believe. That's it, got it. Extra fuel, you could get extra weapons as well. So anyway, guys, I've been OG Duffy. I hope you found this of use. Uh and hey, keep gaming. Let me have any suggestions of anything you want to see, etc. on the channel, and I'll try and do my best for you guys. Stay safe. And uh, catch you all on the next vid. Laters.